Right, I just got off the bus. I've just realised there's a little lane there, which I never knew before when I've come over. I usually got off the bus and gone round the road. But you can go it's safer there. You can go on the island and then come straight down that little lane. So I'm heading for Banwell Wood. Um, the Banwell Wood area. I've decided to uh, walk today. I had a rest yesterday after a seven hour cycle the day before and two days before that I'd done a seven hour hike across the Mendips from Sanford to Cheddar. I've only got to go on this little road for a short while. I've only got to go on this little road for a short while. Then I'll be off it. But of course, as we know, these country lanes can sometimes be more fatal. Well, you're, it's very fatal on a motorway, but the incidents are probably more on little lanes. I would have thought because there's lots of blind spots. It's not always everyone's fault, but most people drive too fast. Um, but not necessarily. I mean, it doesn't much take much to kill you, does it? Really. Um, but anyway, I don't want to start on the two of a low note, but basically, there's the Banwell Wood up there. I thought there might have been some bluebells knocking about, you know. So I've got a bit of a hill to do, just a bit. Got my picnic. Um, it's quite breeze. No, it's not too... It's a slightly chilly wind and um, what that means is uh, I've, I've abandoned the big winter coats now. Um, they probably won't really need, unless the weather changed drastically, I've gone over to the lighter coats. And um, This one's a shower proof and windproof. Very light very light with the mesh inside to take off any sweat. Um, I learned early on about mats that don't have any netting inside. You just get uh, dripping wet from sweat and uh, and then hit that cause and you get cold. This little coat I've got on now This little coat I've got on now, I, I paid um, not very much for it in a market stall. It's not, it doesn't go further than say you're just beyond your waist down. It's not got many pockets and they're not very safe. Um, but it's very light and very handy for cycling and walking in the, in the better months because I've been out with the big coat on a couple of times and I've been baking and it's too heavy to get him put in my rucksack and you end up carrying your coat even the next one down which will fit in the rucksack it's heavy and bulky these are all tips folks of my walking knowledge as I've been doing it a few years now and um, I've been doing it a few years now so oh, a bit of tight in the chest there for a minute. It's a nice little copse here. Right then folks, using the big camera now for videoing because I can do um, some zooming as well with the photo bit when necessary. So there's Weston over there. Look 
at this big whale. There's the hill for it. And there's the thinning of the trees. Each week it looks like a tree has come down, doesn't it? Such a big thinning there. And if we whiz along the top of the hill fort, near Whirl area, the other side of Whirl, we, we've got a lot of activity going on here. I mean, I don't know if it's a new road they're building or maybe it's going to be another housing development. There's the M5 going up to Bristol. And they do, there's a lot of, a lot, there's been a lot of development going on there for a long time. Really busy there, aren't they? Anyway, just to catch up, I'm um, over at Banwell Wood. It's always a good place to get some scenes here. Um, for example, if I just zoom in to a aerial mast over there, that's what's called Windmill Hill over at Hutton. There is a road beyond that mast that you can walk down into Hutton. And I'll be sort of, well, I won't be going near that, but I'll be going back that way later. I've got to make the most of the weather because um, I think it's all right tomorrow. It might be all right for ages, but basically you've got to get out while you can because what if it ever does rain, it might not stop for bloody weeks. It's very dry though, apparently it's very, very dry the weather. Um, which is not good apparently for lots of people. Right, so here we have a, a little lane which circles around Banwell Wood and goes towards Banwell that way, goes somewhere else that way, <laughs> can't remember where. And I go follow that round, I go over the motorway bridge back to Hutton. Later that will happen. I'm basically, I'm just going to be doing a circular. I haven't been over here for... Well, I can't remember, I reckon it's six months, but it might be later than that because I would have, I sometimes walk here and back. So there's a possibility that I have been out here in the winter. <sighs> There's the track. It's been covered it with barbed wire now trying to stop people using it. I'm just going to pass through. Look at that's a pretty scene, isn't it? That's a pretty scene. That's the sort. That's when you want the other camera, so you can use them in unison. You see? You can use them in unison. Now, I've explored all this over the last couple of years, but the caves haven't been open due to COVID uh, because they used to take people in the caves and up the tower. Look at that, that's pretty, isn't it? That's so pretty. And I don't think, I don't think I've been here in the spring. I'll just go to the plaque. It's always handy in case somebody's never seen my previous videos. The Bamwell Bone Cave. Uh, previous videos, I've covered this in depth. And lots of other information which are on previous videos. So I'm not, I'm not going to go through it all again. I'll just go up this way. This is the entrance to the, the cave system where all the bones were found, including human bones. There's the eye that watches you. And um, 
Here lie the scoffer of God's holy word. Beyond the traces of a deluged world, here let him learn in Bowen's cave to adore the Lord of heaven, then go and scoff no more. That's from 1820 Bishop George Harry Law plaque. Pause on this eminence, for not the sea that stretches in its aptitude, amplitude below, though it proclaim the majesty and might of the Creator, so distinct speaks the visible dominion and the power and might of that Creator, as this cave strewed with the debris of a world destroyed. This plaque was on the entrance to the bone cave. So anyway... It's got a big lock on it. It's got a new lock on it actually since I've seen it last. With um I could do with a lock like that actually with a password. And it cost more. Yeah, that's the sort I need really. <sighs> yeah. I think I can see a bone already. Oh, it's playing up. This camera's playing up now, it's doing flickety flick. Let me just turn it on a minute and do um Now I won't be going in the dark much. I'll put it on the green one. It's doing, yeah, it's doing that timer thing. See, it wasn't doing that before. I don't know what I, I must press something, you know, when I do this. I must press something. No, it's doing it again. All right, just let it, take, let it do this one. It's all right, I'm having lots of trouble with the camera. Taking about three pictures at once. So, timer. I don't want this on at all. Single shoot. Yeah, that's all right. Works out how to do it. I press. What's happening? I'm pr I pressed a button. I'll just try it out, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's better. I want it on single shoot. Teething problems at the start of the walk. Oh, yeah, we better go in here, aren't we? This is the um, Druid's little place in here. Sacrifice table, look. Looks like it's deteriorated since last year, actually. Yeah, it has a good old plaster that's come off. Yeah, I think you are, Sheila. You're not supposed to come up here. I forgot already, see. You go down there. Ah, that's weird. I thought we did go that way. I must have forgotten.
Right then, so what we do, we just pop through here. So I've got to do it discreetly, if you know what I mean, because it's not sort of common practice, I don't think. Right, so I'm discreetly going up this pathway. Now if I carry on straight, I can get out and get down on the lower track, but I'm coming back the lower one. So we're gonna go up this one. There's the big mansion. There's lots of information about that house. I think it belonged to the bloke that found the caves and everything. Oh, there's a man up there. Um, I'm going to have to change direction. Um, wait a minute. Maybe I can go this way. Yeah, there's a bloke, so I can't go that way. Might be able to go this way. I don't know if he's seen me. Oh. Yeah, I have to go this way, I think. It's alright, there are other ways in. Yeah, there's a gate up the top here. He might not have seen me, but I was talking. This is the bypass, if you like. <sighs> Lovely views. There's a plantation up there. Sure. That's it. Ah. This is the lower track. Yeah, this is the lower track. I haven't done this track before. Now that bloke's just up there. I need to get up on the path. I don't know if I... I might be able to. I might be able to explore another path that I thought of doing before. Um, I've just got to get over that gate down the bottom, that's all. Right, I think what we'll do is just stop a minute, save the, save the camera.